what is up guys Jones Baller here today we'll be getting right into the video I don't have that much time but we're gonna be making a 3d lens filter guys so I actually made a couple of these yesterday and I actually have a minecraft one right now I'll show you guys it real quick this minecraft one it's been up for about four days and it already has 500,000 views so I would say it's doing pretty well and um, I think if you guys make a filter that's pretty solid you guys will have a similar outcome so as you can see here um, this is how it is it'll move with you it'll move you to your face not the rest of your body but I'm about to show you guys how to make a filter like this so I'm gonna go into file new project yes I want to save this and sorry guys I haven't uploaded the past two days I've just been really busy but I'm getting back on that grind so the first thing you guys are going to want to do is you're going to want to go to a website and find a 3D model. I use something called Claro 3D Models. And you can just come on here and go to free 3D models at the top. And you can literally just find pretty much anything up here. Um, if this one's free right here. I mean this is a 3D model but we'll just go ahead and take it, get the FBX file, you gotta sign up, make an account, you guys don't see my anything here. Alright let me just sign into this real quick. So yeah you guys are gonna wanna make an account and get that going. I don't know what my account is guys. try this real quick all right so we're exporting this as a .fbx file <clears throat> and this is gonna here we go this will be, be the actual 3d model so I'm just gonna make that open up when it's done but then we're also gonna want to go find a background so I'm gonna just type in like Super Mario Bros and then I'll just find like say a Super Mario Bros world background um, I want to find something a little bigger just so that the photo doesn't look really stretched. So, something like just pretty much find any picture that's good for you. I'm just going to come and pick one up here for now because I'm just making this to show you guys how to do it, so it's not that important right now. So I'll just select this one right here, I'm going to save an image, and then just save it as something that you'll remember it as, so I'll just keep it as that. So now we're going to want to come back into Lens Studio, we're going to want to add our objects into the resources, so I'm just going to add in my picture real quick, right here, Mario Bros Evolution, and then I'm going to drag in my FBX file, the 3D model. And after that, what we're going to want to do is we'll let that load in because there's a lot of stuff going in there. I'm going to click up here and I'm going to click face effects and then I'm going to click face or head binding. I mean, so I'll click that right there. You can click on this drop down and see that there's something called a face occluder. We're just going to delete that because we're going to include our own little thing. So we'll click this drop down on our 3D model, take the Mario sculpture thing right here, put it right here. So as you can see, we already have this Mario guy in here. Like that's just how amazing it is. So this is really big as you can see, it's way over the face. So I'm going to scale this down to 0.5 for now. And as you can see guys, it's looking pretty good. Let me bring him down some because as you can see, he's way bigger than he needs to be all right so let me just you guys just gotta keep trying to line it up just saying if you want to rotate you need to right click your mouse and drag so I'm actually gonna bring him a little forward because we need him to be close to that face mask so that's gonna be the Z so we're just gonna start moving him forward turn it a little bit it's looking pretty good right now so I'm actually gonna turn on uh, the face one on work since my 
camera is on the recording but this is looking pretty good right now so if you guys want to add eyes and a mouth to your filter then you can actually just come up and add another object and add a face inset right here so then as you can see the mouth will pop up on there and it doesn't work very well for Mario of course because I mean just look at it you can just tell by looking at it but we'll just do this for now um, just just to make it look a little funnier and then if you guys want to add eyes we can just duplicate this actually I don't want to duplicate it because I don't want them to move together so I don't want the eyes to move when your mouth moves so we're gonna create a new face and set binding and I'm gonna put left eye and see eyes don't really go with this because it's Mario but we're just gonna make something something crazy guys so we're gonna do we're just gonna make it look extremely weird and I'm gonna remove that outer border because it just does not look very good with Mario and then I'm gonna make the inner border a little like this I mean yeah guys this looks terrible we know that but it's Mario so who really cares and then I'm gonna duplicate this and I'll make it the right eye and I'll just drag it right over into the other eye so I mean some people might like this they might think it's a little funny I think it's a little dumb but I mean it, it works for someone so after we get this done after you get all your face and that's how you want it we're gonna want to add the background so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click add general screen image and then this is where we want to bring our um, background image and we're gonna want to drag it to the texture of this so we'll just drag it over here in the texture and as you can see it pops here but that is not the size we want so we're gonna do stretch mode and I'm gonna say fill because that means whatever device you're on it'll pretty much fill this up so after we get that figured out well our our filter part is gone with Mario so we need to get that back so what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna come right here and click add then we are going to click a render target right here and we're gonna make this the background so what we're gonna want to do now is we're gonna click the screen image right here I mean we're gonna click this orthographic camera we're gonna click render target and change this to background now as you can see our Mario guy is back so that's good now what we're gonna want to do is come over here in the scene config and we're gonna drag this background over top of the render target okay well we don't actually need to do that for this filter so we just won't do it because for some reason my thing likes to act up and not work so I'm gonna come over here now to the camera and I'm gonna click the clear color option and I'm gonna change it to texture right here and then one sec guys sorry guys my dog wanted out so after you've done that you're gonna want to come over here to the input right here and we're gonna want our Mario picture to be inserted into there the background picture that we wanted well that's that that's the wrong picture we're gonna want this one right here so now as you can see that is the background and now we can test this out so we can click over here in the persons and then I'm gonna choose two people dancing alright that's too far away let's see this is how it's gonna look if you're just standing still let me just restart my recording software real quick so I can show you guys how it'll look on the preview section with my camera um, yeah just give me one second alright guys so now I have my recording my software up so I can test this out with my webcam so as you can see we got our eyes working up in here it's a little dark in this room that's why you can't really see my eyes but you can see my mouth talking you can see me moving around so I mean this is a filter that could go insane 
it could get millions of views. I'm expecting my Minecraft filter to keep growing over the next week, get a couple million views. So as you can see guys, this is just so cool. I can move my head, it's 3D. It's, it's just a whole deal guys. And like, I just, I love seeing these filters because it just makes people happy. It makes them laugh when they're moving around, having a good time, sending it to their friends, making them happy. It's just a great way to make anyone and everyone happy all of your friends guys so give this a try let me know how it goes in the comments guys if you guys have any video recommendations just let me know uh please don't forget to give this video a like a comment and subscribe to my channel it helps out a lot and gives me motivation have a great day guys